Yesterday, new Arizona Governor Doug Ducey addressed the improvement of education without increasing taxes in his inaugural speech. While Ducey may speak highly about improving education, his office has yet to address the education budget deficit. Nick Ponticello has more. The audience that attended Doug Ducey's speech yesterday applauded his measures to improve education while decreasing state taxes. But those in favor of funding education may not be as pleased with our new governor. That's because he will not take the lead on boosting education funding for Arizona. As it is, we've got some great public schools among the best in America. It's not that the people are taxed too little. It's that their government is spending unwisely. Ducey called for an improvement in education. However, FUSD Director of Finance Dr. Kenneth Garland says that this year's budget calls for a nominal increase. We will get about 1.6 uh, percent and we get some reductions because we're going to have some declining enrollment. Records show Arizona ranks 47th among U.S. states in education funding. Last year, Judge Catherine Cooper ordered the state to pay Arizona schools $1.6 billion over the next five years. Now that the state has appealed this order, it's a waiting game for the Flagstaff Unified School District. That's why getting some of the Judge Cooper money would be very uh, helpful, but we have no real prospects of it, and the governor's office has uh, pretty much reported at this point that they're not going to be the lead on budget this year because their people are new and kind of feeling their way, so they're relying on these legislative committees that are designing budget levels. For NAZ Today, this is Nick Ponticello.